Adobe Illustrator is a unique software. If you learn it properly, you can earn money. I made lots of icon apps, posters on this. It really has a big scope. In Adobe Illustrator you can move its tools bar, means floating tool bar. You can adjust where you feel it easy. Let's start. First go to file in drop down menu select new, short key is control N. A window open, here you can set your document setting. Can name your project here, select whether it's for print, web devices, video and film. Number of artboard, then size, letter, legal tabloid, A4, A3, B5, B4, chose your desired one. You can have custom artboard as well by selection width and height. You can change measuring unit, points, picas, inches, millimeter, centimeter, and pixel. Then comes color mode, CMYK, or RGB, I suggest chose CYMK for medias and RGB for web. You can set resolution also. If you have pre-designed template then click template and choose your desired one from your PC. All set now start designing. Select a shape tool to make some shapes that we will work on these shapes. To make a rectangle select rectangle tool, then click and drag on artboard. If you just click on artboard then it will ask the size width and height. If want to create square just press shift, click and drag, it will create a square. You can make big or small square. You can undo your some previous command by pressing Ctrl Z in Adobe Illustrator your both hands will be busy, as you have to press certain keys with mouse to obtain your desired design. Let's make a small square, and then take selection tool. Select the square, now you can move it freely. While you select the object you can see bounding box visible, you can see some small boxes on the outer area, these are called resize handles, by clicking and dragging you can change the size. With shift it will resize symmetrically. With selection tool, you can rotate the object, hover mouse cursor just outside the corner, then rotate handle will appear now you can rotate it freely. If we press shift while rotating the object then it will rotate with 45 degree angle, Control Z for undo. You can zoom the box by selecting zoom tool, most easy way is to press alter and mouse wheel downward to zoom out and mouse wheel upward to zoom in.
Now one more interesting short keys. If you press Alt and drag the selected object it will give you a copy of that object. And if you press Alt plus Shift and then drag selected object it will give you a aligned copy. Now a one most effective short key is Ctrl D. Whatever work you do with a selection tool then press Ctrl D. It will repeat the move or copy. If we make a copy of the object then press Ctrl D. Then it will make another copy in same proportion. If we press Ctrl D again and again, the copying will be continued. If we select multiple object that press Alter and Shift and drag, whole selected area would be copied, then Ctrl D repeat the action. You will see that you made an interesting pattern with ease. Now if you want to select all boxes, just press Ctrl A or take selection tool and drag mouse across. If you want to select a particular portion, drag mouse over that. Now you can move or delete or color, means whatever you want to do. If you want to select alternate rows then drag mouse over one row left second press shift and drag mouse over third row and so on. It's really easy but as you all know practice makes man perfect so keep practicing. Now take a different shape. Let's take polygon tool and draw a polygon then select it, if you just click on artboard that it will ask about the dimensions. Alter and drag to make copy, Ctrl D to repeat the actions. Select whole column that press alter and drag. But I want to create a pattern, I place it here. Then Ctrl D, we'll start repeating action, now we get a very good pattern. To be precise zoom it, Alt plus mouse wheel up. In AI you can zoom up to 64,000%. Now I select both the column and dragging with Alt and Shift, 
for symmetric copy and now control D. We designed a good pattern you can say it beehives. Now in the end of lecture 4 I will tell you one most important tool. Beneath the toolbar you see two boxes one is fill the other is for strokes. Fill means the color inside of the object and strokes are the outline of the object. If you want to change the color of the strokes, simply click on stroke box and choose you desired color, then color palettes will be open you can also open the swatches there you will find ready made colors. But simple is that, double click on stroke box then color palettes would open and then you can select your desired color. If you want to change color of some polygon in the center, just select those with shift button pressed, and that double clicks on fill color box and chose your desired color. You can also choose color from color palettes or panels. Open color panel and chose. If chose red all selected polygon will turn red. Thank you. 
You can change the thickness of the stroke from Stokes thickness box. So that it's for now, might be it's slow but it's important for beginners, I want to tell you each and everything in detail, bye for now.